MI10 is the new flagship device from Xiaomi. Though it was launched globally a few months before, but in Middle East it's just been launched. The MI10 has a few features to stand out, with the same 108 megapixel camera used in the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the new internal hardware. But is this sufficient to stand out? That's what we are going to find out in this video. Hey guys, I'm Manish and you're watching Tech and Spice. If you are new here, then a sub to the channel would be awesome. Don't forget to put down your feedbacks and suggestions in the comments below. That will definitely help me to improve the channel. Alright, let's get started. I have already done the unboxing of this device and if you missed it, it means you don't follow me on my social media handles. Anyway, here's where my social media handles Move over and follow me so you won't miss any non-YouTube contents. I have put the link to the unboxing video in the description below, so don't forget to check it out. So let's move with the design. Xiaomi Mi10 is a superb handset. Glossy curved glass, a sleek material frame on the edges. Mi10 is built with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back for better resistance. The curve at the back helps to hold the device comfortably in the hand. On the left side of the back, we can see the quad camera setup, but the camera bump on the rear will make the device wobble on a flat surface. Also to remember, the rear is a fingerprint magnet, so definitely use the provider TPU case. Moving to the front, we get a 6.67 inch 1080 by 2340 FHD plus 3D curved AMOLED display. As a super AMOLED screen, color pop-up and depth vary, be it gaming or watching movies. It has a 500 nits of manual brightness, but in auto mode, it has a peak brightness of 1120 nits. So it fares well under the sunlight. HDR10 plus accreditation from the Xiaomi Mi10 means that HDR films look fantastic, particularly in dark environments and viewing angles are great, especially with the OLED screen. Also, not to forget the device comes with dual speakers, one on top and one on the bottom. So now watching movies with these speakers is really an awesome experience. Also we get a selfie camera on a punch hole, but I'm always a fan of pop-up cameras. Anyhow, the 20 megapixel selfie camera has a f2.3 aperture. The selfie camera can take detailed images but uses a lot of smoothening by default. The portraits came out very good with the edge detection. Adding movie mode letterbox is a nice thing. It can shoot videos on 1080p at 30 frames per second and 720p at 30 or 120 frames per second. The camera also doubles as a face unlock and it's quite fast too. Apart from that, the in-screen fingerprint scanner is still one of the best I have ever seen, which functions consistently without any complications. Speaking about the performance, under the hood is the flagship Snapdragon 865 chip. It is available in two variants, 8GB and 128GB storage and 8GB and 256GB. All of them are LPDDR5 RAM with UFS 3.0 storage. Benchmarks are impressive with a Geekbench 5 multi-core score of more than 3300 which represents everyday usage and gaping efficiency. With a 90Hz refresh rate, you are going to enjoy the gaming performance. The device comes with MIUI 11 on top of 10. On the plus, it seems safe and clean, which is a positive beginning. If it comes to UI usability, the reality lies behind. You can't trigger an app tray, for example. In addition, if apps are enabled in the background, the UI will pull you off anything you do and take you to a virus scan screen. The device already got a MIUI 12 update, which I will be covering in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. App support is great. However, it has some benefits when putting aside Huawei handsets. Provided that Xiaomi has access to the full spectrum of Google services. Adding up to that is the battery. A USB-C connector lies at the bottom and allows 30 watt rapid charging with the bundle adapter. In fact, it has 10 watt reversible wireless charging, which is handy option for quick charging with wireless earbuds or your phone in a hurry. Meanwhile, the 4780 mAh battery lasts a whole day. Xiaomi has been excellent at achieving the best lifespan of its devices and MI10 is no exception. I was getting a full day of charge with almost 6 hours of screen on time. Now the elephant in the room, the cameras. 
Samsung's 108 megapixel camera sensor was launched by Xiaomi Mi Note 10 and was really amazing when it dropped. The Motorola Edge Plus and Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra along with the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro have now been replaced the big resolution sensor and also lead the charge on the Mi 10. So here are the specs. We get a 108 megapixel ultra clear primary sensor with f1.69 aperture and optical image stabilization. Next is the 13 megapixel ultra wide angle with 123 degrees of field of view and f2.4 aperture. The other two are the 2 megapixel depth and the 2 megapixel macro lens with both having f2.4 aperture. Along with that we get a flicker sensor with single temperature flash. The image quality is superb. The colors are punchier and detailed. The 108 megapixel pictures were detailed but the advantages was in low light area where its large 1.33 sensor comes to play. The MIUI helps the post process and gives an awesome picture. The second camera is as well as the primary. The pictures are sharp and clear with good details. Speaking about the 2 megapixel depth sensor, it fairly does well. The edge detection is good and the picture quality is decent. The camera can capture 8K videos at 30 frames per second. The footage is sharp and detailed well. Adding up, it has a pro mode for video, which other brands should adapt as well. To conclude this, Xiaomi Mi 10 is a flagship smartphone and it carries all the high-end smartphone feature you would expect. The device's most powerful processor, impressive camera and wireless charging. The smartphone is a complete package for a good performing phone. But it all falls on the end users like you. So let me know your thoughts about this device in the comments below. That's it, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, press the like button. If you disliked it, then please let me know your suggestions as well in the comment section below. I'll meet you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, take care, bye.